Okay, I think the rest of the information in there is, uh, you know, stuff that's not really important enough to uh, have to spend any more time going over right now. Just to refresh my memory real quick. For some reason, I remember these automatically closing themselves. Okay, so I need to go back to the army warehouses I gather. Or from what I gathered. I say more normally. Of course, unfortunately, it seems that the uh, cold actually decided to get a little worse as I start decided to start recording. As evidenced by the uh, occasional sniffling that may or may not survive the uh, noise reduction process. Either way, let's get on over there to the uh, army warehouses. Apparently, we're supposed to wait there after taking out the everybody. Mm -hmm. Was going to Yantar would be a good idea too. Assuming that's where Sidrovic is apparently uh, hiding out. But that's something I'll do after exploring this lead. I wonder why I'm running out of stamina so fast. I'm not over encumbered at all. I'm not really seeing why. Let's just try to use up the last three bullets of this one ammo type before using anything else. Which reminds me of something that really disappointed me about, uh... I don't know, I can't remember if it was only called appropriate or if Clear Sky did it as well, but... I probably pointed it out during the playthrough of whichever game that was. Stop floating. But the lack of... Or the consolidating ammo types down to only two instead of the occasional three that you get. I don't really see any reason for it to have happened. Like, they've all got their separate uses, don't they? Entry for the rests. I suppose, in all honesty, the descriptions don't really point out anything different between those two. But whatever. I was trying to fill the time here with talking so we don't have to edit so much because it takes long enough as it is. Well, at least I don't have to worry about it being dark anymore, since I've got night vision. Ah, there we go. It was after saying that about night vision, I didn't immediately turn it off and run off of pure headlight power. What the hell? Why not add a little extra atmosphere and uh, darkness if I can? Yeah, the way the game's been running so far, I'm definitely. That's a boner. Whoa. Okay. Forget I said anything about adding atmosphere and such. <clears throat> now what was I 
was saying otherwise. I don't remember, I completely lost my train of thought. Well, either way, let's make it up to that base. Oh yeah, that that's it. Ooh, ooh. I was saying something about performance, something about... Well, this game's been running very well so far. And of course, by now it's decided, nope, can't allow that. <sighs> yeah, what I was going to say, I believe it was something about being tempted to turn up the resolution a little bit. You know, bring up the uh, scaled 800 by 600 rather than just 800 by 480 like I'm running it now. Freedom. Freedom. What the hell are they doing here? I killed them all. Bastards. Oh, shit. I didn't think he would have had that good a line of fire on me. Ugh. And that leaves me with just the autosave. Damn. See me already. Well, I've got a little uh, surprise for them. Somebody just walked past my window wearing a Captain America outfit. <laughs> How's this for freedom? I'm gonna think of it, I probably took them out with the first grenade I threw. Definitely somebody over there. No, that's the uh, house light. It's the bonfire. Oh yeah, I definitely took them all out with the first one. By the looks of it, let's just... Throw that real quick. Uh... Oh, shit! That really was a person. <sighs> Can't believe that one missed. Problem is, not all of them are wearing, uh, torches. Oh! So that's going to happen. Alright, I decided to live dangerously and sleep the night out here. Which is why we're, uh, popping back in, you know, at the be very beginning of the fight instead of, uh, you know, just me replaying up to where I died. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whew. So the rest of this should be a lot easier. Just, okay, you can just kind of buckle over. <laughs> Make me miss my second shot. Blast it. I don't remember that. This ammo is a lot heavier than what I have been using. It's a good thing these Freedom guys are stoned out of their minds, otherwise he probably would have noticed me. Or rather, noticed the bullets flying past his face. See you know I have a lot more carrying capacity, so I can actually afford to, uh, carry around some unnecessary extra weapons. For now, at least. 
corpses still litter the building. I could have sworn that sounded a lot like a gunshot flying past my head. But as far as I can tell, it was just the wind. What was that second guy I took out? I think. It looks to be in about the place that I shot him. Weird. Didn't have anything on him. So are there any others? The sniper in that tower, who strangely can't see me. I do like how there's still a bit of bloom even in the DirectX 8 renderer. <laughs> ah, that sort of thing that makes me love physics. Yeah, I suppose Half-Life 2 kind of did that as well, doing a uh, faker, more transparent image style of bloom. If you don't have the uh, fancy rendering options. There's another one? Where is he? Ah. Oh, it's the guy I shot earlier and another guy hiding behind a tree. Catch! That certainly seems to have done something. <laughs> yep, took out the stander. And there's more of them. Beasts. Logically, you'd think duty would have sent some people up here. Or the military. Again, I don't remember if they ever do that in you know, any variation of SOC. Mods or no. Let's just loot the tower man over here, see what he's got. 36. And then one of these very nice cars all demolished and such. I'm gonna see if that truck is runnable as well. I doubt it is, but... If nothing else, it's at the very least some nice, uh... That. Why exclude the pistols from my loot grabbing? Very nicely detailed areas. It's honestly one of the very many things that make stalker games great. They always feel... it always feels like you're in a real place. Obviously not the highest quality textures or models ever made, or lighting systems and whatnot, especially not when it's on the DirectX 8 renderer, but... Regardless, it feels like you're in a real place. That's actually better quality than my other USB. While I'm over here, let's take care of this stash. Save, because why not? Not curious of curiosity, does this ladder work? No. Too bad. I think they'd at least have it working for the parts where the ladder rungs aren't destroyed. This is like a brand new experience for me, finding the. Well, obviously, <laughs> obviously the contents of the stash are different, but holy shit, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, the, the stash location, I don't think I've ever seen one back here before. Which is kind of sad, to be honest. I. I have well over 200 hours clocked into this game, according to Steam. That doesn't even count the time that I've spent playing this game and various mod 
version, modded versions of it. Before Steam introduced the update that kept track of, you know, when you, when you've played something. Oh, sure, why not? Let's just take yet another dragon off. Alright, so at the very least, that means my trip up, he up here wasn't wasted. Ooh, it's even got ammo. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, that's right, you can't sprint with sniper rifles in this game. That barrel looked like a person. I swear. Total waste, I <clears throat> Total waste, I know. But... Another stash box I don't think I've ever seen before. Wow. That's a sign of a well-made game. When you can clock well over 10 days worth of playtime and still find new things. Uh, enjoying a nice little bonfire. Here, have some hot lead. Or... Damn it, I can't see it. I'm gonna waste every single one of these shots. Ah. This shows you how much I have to rely on tracers to snipe. Wow, I completely lost track of where he was somehow. Well, he looks dead, but must have gotten him with the last shot. That was embarrassing. <laughs> and look at this guy just sitting there playing his guitar. Let me give you a tip. Now where's this last guy? Where's he sitting? seem to be all around the campfire. And honestly, surprised, none of them are reacting at all to their own men being shot down right in front of them. I'm not really counting the possibility of them being, you know, the ones I shot just laying down in pain, because, let's be honest, they should be dead. There are still enemy contacts. How can this be? Also, that's a nice place for a toilet. Ghost Nate. Where is he hiding? This is worrying, because I have no idea where this guy could be. I can only hope he's somebody that I shot that's laying down in pain, but not quite dead yet. <clears throat> time to deal with... Tons of loot. drop the uh, lowest income weapons first. 30,025. This is also in pretty poor condition, so I'll just drop that one.
so he must be up this way. Yeah, I'm guessing possibly in the building. Let's get out our new uh, toy here. Yeah. Two of them? Surely you jest. 